Hey everybody, it's Soul Love and Pavant, and today I did a Elsa makeup tutorial, so if you want to see how to do this look, just keep on watching. So while doing El Elsa's makeup tutorial, um, I'm just going to do like the makeup, and I can style my hair because my hair is the same color, so I hope that will work out, and I'm sorry I don't have the wig. Hey guys, so first off, Elsa's skin tone is lighter than mine, so I'm going to be taking my Clinique foundation that's a very light color because Elsa's skin tone is lighter than mine and if you have a dark skin tone like mine you might want to use a light skin tone and I'm going to take my beauty blender that I got from um, Claire's and blend this in all over my face just to give me a fine animation look just like Elsa's. Okay so now I'm going to set the foundation with Revlon Photo Ready Powder or um, Compact and I'm going to use my flat kabuki brush that I got from Claire's as well and set that foundation with um, with that powder and um, use the lightest powder you have to blend in with the foundation as well. Okay, so now I'm going to move on to the eyes and I'm going to take my CoverGirl True Naked Nudes and I'm going to use the white in that. I don't know if you can see, but it's on the very edge. So now I'm going to be applying this white, it has like a base and it's like creamy white so it will make the purple stand out and show so I'm going to be applying this all over my eyelid so it will stand out and show and um, just use any white but I recommend a creamy white not a full on white. So now moving on to the uh, purple, take a flat brush, I recommend a flat brush if you have one just use any. So um, I'm going to be taking the purple and with my flat brush, I'm going to use this purple on the outer corner of my eye and then blend it into my crease, giving it a defined look. And yeah, so make this into like a winged kind of look and blend it very well and make use a lot of it so it will look pigmented and animated. So in the picture, Elsa has a pink very close to her brow bone and I missed that out so what we're going to do is blend that in with the purple to give it a animated and defined look and just like Elsa's. So this old LA's col color palette I got it a long time ago with a skinny brush. I'm going to be taking the pigmented pink putting it above the purple like close to my brow bone with a skinny brush that I got from Claire's as well. As you guys know I love Claire's. Um, so I'm going to blend this in as well as I can, and then after that, I'm going to be taking a blending brush and to make this blend in with the purple and look really pretty. Not pretty good. Um, and what I'm going to be doing now is taking a skinny slash blending brush and taking my big Claire's palette and using the black of the right lower corner and I'm going to be doing this by over the pur uh, pink that we just added over the purple on my eyebrow bone is taking that and adding this and swiping it back and forth of the uh, corners of my eyes just to give this a very animated big and bold look to Elsa's eyes because her eyes are huge and really pretty and we want ours to look animated and just like hers. Now that I'm finally done with my eyes, um, <laughs> I'm going to be moving on to the eyebrows and I do it a little bit differently than everybody else just by using like a regular eyebrow gel. I'm going to be taking um, an eyebrow brush and using my Claire's brown eyeshadow and defining my eyebrows in an arched look because Elsa's eyebrows are very arched and just kind of filling it and shaping it because my eyebrows are very different than Elsa's and make it however you want to. Honestly, just use a brown and you can use the you know eyebrow gel that you can get from somewhere or something, <laughs> but I'm just going to be using this. I also use Benefit, I think, Speed Brow. I'm not really sure about that, but um, I just use that to define my eyebrows and give it an arched look. So now moving on to the eyelashes, 
I'm going to be taking these false beautiful sparkly lashes and I must say false lashes can be very difficult sometimes so they're very they are a patience time consuming thing you know <laughs> so just take your time and I don't use tweezers if that's just how I am I think they're harder when you use tweezers so I'm just going to be using my fingers for this and adding this on my lid as low as I possibly can just to make this just to stay and stick and once you have it sticked just be happy <laughs> done with the false lashes I'm going to be taking covergirl lash blast fusion mascara to blend in my real lashes with the false lashes and just to make my eyes pop and really pretty and um, yeah they were really hard to get on at first but once you hold them for about five seconds and and then just you know hold them for a little bit longer or how long you need to they will work and they look really pretty and I got these cheap lashes from the dollar store so yeah if you want some false lashes just get any type of false lashes you will want and then just blend in mascara on your real lashes sometimes it's hard to but it will work and after I finish the um, lower part of my lashes I'm going to move on to the hair so Elsa's hair is not that difficult, it's just in a loose braid and there's pieces falling out on the side and if you have bangs this should be easy and we can hairspray and do what we need to do. So I know my hair looks really crazy right now but I brushed it out and I'm going to um, section my hair off on the very top of my head and clip it back and um, this style is really simple, I gotta find my clip, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, this style is a really simple and it's not hard at all so what I'm going to do is take a clip and clip the top piece of my hair and by sectioning it off and clipping it back it's getting kind of difficult <laughs> so okay um, now what I'm going to do is it looks all crazy <laughs> I'm going to um, just do a simple and loose braid just like really loose just like Elsa's and my hair is really short compared to hers but you can do whatever you want or you can just simply get a wig and I'm doing just a simple braid and this is a really easy hairstyle and this is actually really fun because it's easy <laughs> so yeah I just did a simple braid and I'm now putting a hair bow at the bottom of my braid what I did was really easy and simple is I just simply made a poof and bobby pinned it and left the rest of the hair down dangling and I'm going to curl it with a curling iron. So now that my hair is done, um, I'm sorry I don't have any sparkles but if you have sparkles use those and what I'm going to move on is to my lips and I cannot find the face paint. Wow. <laughs> okay, let's look. There it is, okay, <laughs> I found it. So what I'm going to be doing is taking a skinny brush and since I don't have the lip collar of Elsa's, I'm going to be doing some, something different is just using a purple face paint. And I'm just going to use this all over my lips, very dark and pigmented. And this is not the complete step of the lips since this is not the exact collar. I'm going to be taking a um, eyeshadow from my LA Color palette. This is like a purple mixed um, collar with kind of pink purple. So that would be perfect for the lips. Now to top off the lips, I'm going to be doing using a Beauty Rush lipstick. And this is a beautiful collar to top off the purple and mix it in with that. And it's shimmery and very pretty and it looks just perfect for Elsa. Guys, I'm really sorry, but I don't have a costume so I'm going to be changing my shirt into a blue shirt and I'll be right back. So all I did was um, put a blue lace um, t-shirt on like a long sleeve pretty blue lace with um, white lace on the back and this is about the closest I can get. If you can get the costume you can order it off of anywhere like Amazon or somewhere cheap or anything you want to do to complete this look. I just wanted to give you an idea of what the makeup is like and you know the hair and how to do an easy hairstyle for it. So. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Um, please give this a big thumbs up. I will be doing 
more videos often and I think the next video I've already planned it out is to be doing um, a DIY on um, I think oil so we're going to do that and so we're going to tie that in with each other so thank you so much again for watching and I hope you like this video comment down what you want me to do because I really 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 want to do something else for you guys that you guys want me to do so give me some recommendations thank you for watching and bye